Hello, welcome back to another video on my thoughts on the speculation market. If you watch my channel enough time, you hear me talk about how I like to buy something 30% or more below fair market value to flip. Yes, that's definitely my ceiling as far as how much I'm willing to pay for something. Um, sure, it's always exception to the rule. Um, but there are books out there that I would avoid even if it is 30% below fair market value. What are those books? Here is an example. Not right now. I'm going to date myself so that people that watch this video later have an idea of the time frame. This is, I sh I'm shooting this video at the end of August 2019. But for those that are in this hobby long enough, you know this book went crazy in 2017 and 2018, where it doubled. In some grade, it even tripled. Yes, triple. Insanity, okay? And what has happened to this book since then? I wanna see if I can insert some chart of some grade, okay? Yeah, you see that? A decline, a fairly sharp decline. The climb up was pretty steep, as always. I always said that if something go up very fast, it is not sustainable. So, in situation like that, when it's so hot, when, when the hot spec is burning, <laughs> I really don't want to grab onto the hot item because if I buy something 30% below fair market value and I'm not quick enough to flip because you know, I'm sent to CGC, it take a couple weeks, even a month or two. What happened if that's the top? I can't tell where the top is on hot book. Okay, on super, super, super hard book, I can't tell where the top is. So at 30%, as you can see in the two charts that I included, it can evaporate very quickly in a few months, two or three months, poof, it can be gone. So, and if that happened, if I end up still holding on to the book for whatever reason, my hope at that point is I hope it level out so that I can at least not lose money, right? So I don't like to be in that position. I don't like to be put in a rush to sell something. Yes, I flip things continuously, constantly, but at the same time, I don't want to be in a position where I have to rush to sell something because the book's gonna crash or burn or something. So there are times where even 30% is not enough on super, super hot book. I need a bigger discount. I need a bigger cushion for safety, okay? Right now, now that this book has come down significantly, would I buy this book 30% below current fair market value? Heck yes. Heck yes, okay? So, you know, there's always place and time to buy something on a discount. And then there's also place and time where a certain discount is not big enough. Does that make sense? Heck, if I was to buy this book a year ago, when it was super hot, I would have wanted a lot more than 30%. It had to be like 40% or something because I need that safety cushion because I know it can come down anytime now, okay? Because you can't have something that double or triple in one year and think that it is okay. It's not, okay? I can't stress enough for those that are in this hobby that regardless of how much you love a book, Try to step back and separate common sense from obsession. Yeah, 
separate that. The sooner you can separate that, the sooner you can see the tree from the forest, okay? So to speak, if you know what I mean. So be smart, be careful, pay attention, and listen to the common sense side of your brain, if there is any. <laughs> Anyhow, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.